Hi, and welcome to Learn With Mac. And today I'm going to be showing you some of the modeling I've been doing in preparation for a new video, which is going to be Professor Mac explaining Archimedes' principle. Now Archimedes' principle is a law which essentially, and a theory which essentially shows why things float and why things sink. And I'm going to be using a video to explain that I've put together a scene where the video is going to take place and I'm, today I'm going to just talk through what's in the scene, how I've gone about modelling it and in future videos I'll show some of the more in-depth detail of the various elements in it. For today it's just an overview of the place in which the video is going to take place. Now since the last video I released there's been a significant change in the software which I use to make my videos. The software I use is a software application called Blender and you can get that for free at blender.org. It's an open source project. The software is incredibly powerful and it's free to use for whatever you want to do with it. It's so great. They've updated that software uh, from 2.79 which is what I used before to 2.8 Eight, and in fact it's at, it's at 2.81 now as I, as I make this video and in doing so there was a lot of new features added to the software it was a complete change in the way it looked and the, the way it worked and I've now changed the pipeline uh, that I use to create my videos to take advantage of the new software and here you can see it it uh, looks wonderful you can see all the detail uh, of the scene in the viewport as we're actually looking at the program. Before then, it was a kind of view which had um, didn't have the sort of reflections you can see in the water. It wasn't easy to do that anyway. Now it's a very powerful, responsive view of what's going on. So let's have a look at the scene and what I've been doing and see the overview of where this new video is going to take place. It's going to need water because we're going to be looking at why things float and why things sink. So the first thing was to choose a lake, put it by a lake. Um, I then created um, a dock side where uh, Professor Matt could move around the things that he was going to drop into the water. I've um, put together some objects for him to use and those are shipping containers that you can see here. And those are brought onto the uh, area, into the dock side by a railway line, which you can see running along into the side of the dock side. So let's have a quick overview of the area in which the video is going to take place. So like many of these places, you would have a security gate. And so I've modeled a security gate here, as you can see, um, where as um, lorries came up to perhaps come in and drop things off, they would stop off, talk to security, and then security would presumably open the gate and let the vehicle through. We've got some nice grassy areas to try and give the scene a bit of a, a feel of a, a natural environment. And I mentioned these this railway line. So what we can see is they are real vehicles here, and these real vehicles, they're in real, you know, significant detail. And I'll, I'll not go into those details just today. It's just to give an overview today, but you can see that there's been a lot of detail I've put into the vehicle uh, when I've been creating these. We've got the shipping containers, and this one's on the vehicle. And you can see, again, that's in a lot of detail with the, the door lock mechanisms and details around... Um, what the container is and the weight of the container, for example. Now, in some previous videos, I was showing the vehicle which Professor Mac is going to use in this video. And it's a vehicle which is able to lift things. 
using this arm and this this end here is able to lift the shipping containers we've got here it's also able to lift steel plates because we're going to use these objects to do the experiment and you can see Professor Mac is now in position and about to drop the uh, steel plate into this drop tank and that's where he's going to do all his experiments the drop tank sits next to the, the lake um, but it's an area where the experiment can be carefully controlled uh, where he's dropping the objects in the vehicle I've shown some detail in previous videos please go and have a look at those but it's now complete uh, I've got lots of detail in, in the vehicle I was taking a lot of time to get this because it was a study I was I was really wanting to do with the vehicle to really try and model it I hadn't modeled a vehicle in very much detail before but now you can see it Professor Max in there um, control he's got controls to control the arm we've got details like the wiper arm there but on another, on another day I'll take you through more of the detail as I go around each piece in the scene. We've also got a ship which uh, is there um, lots of detail in the in there as well to show you and that is the overview of the area in which Professor Mac is going to be doing these experiments. So next time I'll show you some of the detail perhaps we'll look at the detail of the shipping containers um, the railway line and the vehicle as well you can see that I'm also using full fluid dynamic simulation for the dropping of the objects into the water and I'll show you how I've done that in the next video so thanks for joining see you next time all the best